Hello friends, my name is Akhil Gupta and in this video I am going to tell how to create a simple Android application for your website. So I have a, a Eclipse and it's ready for Android development. Uh, so it, here we can see inside Windows, Android SDK Manager is available. Inside Preference, uh, uh, here I have set my Android SDK path. So you can check this if your Eclipse is uh, already there. So now we let's get started creating this Android application project. So here uh, I I'm just going to create my uh, project uh, in application name. I'm just giving some dummy name as website to Android application. This is project name. This is using by Eclipse only. And this is the package name here in Steed example. You can change uh, uh, your company name. It looks like a reverse of uh, the domain. So, so for me, I will put is com dot extra entry. For you, you can put anything as you want. So here uh, we have uh, okay. First, uh, first here is uh, the, some more options like uh, minimum required SDK, target SDK, compile with and theme. So for now, uh, we will keep uh, we will keep this as it is and we will continue. Here are some options like create custom launcher icon, create activity, create project and workspace. So we will continue and we will continue as next. Here these are the icons that uh, uh, that we are going to use for our Android application. For now, we will select as default. By default, the Eclipse gives some uh, uh, we having some uh, default uh, activities default, uh, so we can use whatever we want. So here we will use blank activity. So now we have we can give this activity name and layout name. So we will click finish. So here our project has been created. Two main files as activity underscore main dot xml and main dot main activity dot java has been created. So these are two are the main files that we will uh, modify for our work. So let's see the project uh, 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 directories once again. So in Steed areas we have this drawable HDPI, MDPI, LDPI. So these actually uh, we have uh, icons for different Android screens. This is layout.xml file. This is menu main.xml. Uh, in, 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 inside values there is a strings.xml. This is because uh, we don't have to use the uh, text directly in our application. We can use the all we can put all the text here only and we can use these uh, strings.xml. So this is main.xml here uh, we have listed only one uh, option as action underscore settings. So that's it. This is Android main .xml. This is a very important file for our Android application project as it uh, contains all the main configuration of Android application. So let's run this project and see how is it looks like as we didn't uh, modified anything. So let's uh, run this project. Right, so it's asking uh, for uh, this uh, my tab. My tab is already connected uh, with this laptop so that I can see the screen here. Right, so I run this project and uh, from in a moment it's uh, right, it's, it's here. So this is a simple application. Our Android application is already uh, a, a simple Android application already created or we can say it's a Hello World application. So same uh, application we are going to modify as next to make it uh, uh, use for our website. So in the next video we will see how what the things we have to modify in activity underscore main and main activity dot java to make it work. Thank you. Thanks for watching.